What's up, everybody? In this video, we're going to be talking about lesson number two, and that lesson number two is range valuation. Okay, now range valuation, now we're going to do it my way, right? Not how you see all these guys do it on Instagram, on Telegram, on whatever gram. We're going to be doing it my way, all right? Now, we have to first of all understand that there is always going to be a high and a low, right? So from a high and a low, all right? Now, <clears throat> when you consider the way that other people are doing stuff, they take this high and this low, and that is how they consider their premium and their discount, all right? But that is not how I do it, okay? That is not how I do it at all. Now, before you, you know, before I actually get to the part, uh, part in telling you guys about how I do range valuations, right? We have to understand something that's really basic, right? So the really, 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 really basic concept is that you want to be selling at premium. So premium, what, let me just type it down. I see you want to be selling at a premium valuation. You want to be buying at a discount valuation. Okay, selling at a premium valuation and buying at a discount valuation. So what does that really mean? What that means is at premium, you want to be using your premium arrays and at discount, you want to be using your discount arrays. So your premium points of interest and your discount points of interest. All right, now that's all there is to it. Okay, that's all there is to it. But now here's the thing, how are you or how are you going to know about the way I do stuff? Here it is. First of all, we have to understand basic structure, right? So we understand that this is a high, this is a higher high, and this is a low. Obviously, to go higher, we need to make a low, uh, a higher low, right? What if we fail? What if what if we fail that higher low? What if we move lower? Again, that's the question. What if we move low? If we move low, then what's happening? The trend is basically shifting. The order flow is basically shifting, unless of course this is a what stop hunt. Okay, the order flow is shifting unless this is a stop hunt. Now you will find that a lot of people, okay, a lot of people, the way that they use their premium and discount is they will take this high and withdraw it all the way here. Now, when you do this, all right, when you do this, you're leaving a lot of room for interpretation, like okay, what if price will react from here? What if price will react from here? What if price will come all the way up here? You know, you, are, you have a lot of what ifs, unless you're really good at picking your points of interest, you have a lot of what if, what if, what if, what if, what if scenarios, right? So the only way that you're gonna be re getting rid of these what if scenarios is if you look at this high, higher high and the drop, right? Okay. You wanna be valuing this range, right? You wanna be valuing this range right there from this low right over here okay to this high that is your range that you want to be valuing all right so whatever point of interest that you have all right if it's self you can find it at equilibrium of this range or if there's efficient price action over here you're going to be finding it at a fair value gap or an imbalance up over here that is your entry over here i just gave you an entry model okay that is how you use range valuation so if you want to use your range valuation this is how you are going to be using it okay now obviously i have more stuff that goes goes along with it but obviously i'm not going to tell it to you guys on in public but it's all in private it's all in my private uh, mentorship uh, but i'm going to give you something that works okay now this works you don't need anything else this actually works so that's that for being bearish okay now, what if you're bullish? If you're bullish, you want to be looking for a low, 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 and price breaking up. What's the range that you're going to be using? You're going to be using this high to this low. What's the highly sensitive point? Equilibrium. Or if the equilibrium is, uh, is efficient, you're going to be finding an imbalance right below, and that is your buy. Okay? And that is your buy so that is how you do appropriate range valuation yeah now the components to this i'm not going to show you guys because you can see it in the pattern itself so if you want to do some studies go ahead and do that but if you want me to draw it out for you it's here 
and it's not obviously you guys will say come on man almost every mentorship up that teaches is exact same damn pattern and calls it something yeah, i'm not calling it anything <laughs> i mean just let's get that let's just let's get that out there i'm not calling it anything i'm just saying this is how you, you value your range okay this is how you value your range now when you look at these ranges okay next topic when you look at this range is over here all right you have a stop punt and price starts to display slow assuming that this is a this is the real move down can you see that we initiated new order flow from where from up over here okay we initiated new order flow from up over there so what does that mean we're going to be focusing around there right yes that's where we're going to be focusing on what about this stop punt is over here where we're going to be focusing on here Anything over here is just noise. Okay. Price will always find a way to come back here and go higher. Okay. Price will always find a way to come back there and go higher. If it does not happen immediately, don't worry. Okay. If you get something like this, don't worry. This is all engineer liquidity. Price is going to come back down. It's going to go up. That's all inducements. So inducements, it's going, it's, it's, it's going to be one of the uh, advanced topics that I'm going to be leaving for the last few lessons. Uh, but essentially, today's topic is about range valuation. Okay, so that's all about range valuation, and this over here is called the manipulative leg. Okay, this is the manipulative manipulative leg of price. Right, this is the manipulative leg of price. I'm going to keep it as simple as that. I'm 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 not going to bore you with other nonsense. So this is it. All right now, let's look at some examples. Get some examples. All right. Okay. Using this indicator that I'm using, it's called the factors 240. Right. You see this high, this low. High, low. Higher, high. Now, higher, high. Now, look, what am I looking for? I'm looking at this range here. Can you see the equilibrium is very, very, very what? Reactive. There's your bite. I mean, there's no context, but I'm just saying, there's your buy. Okay, now this is your Asian range. That's because I've come down. Okay, now this is obviously a low, 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 and price takes this high out, right? Remember, there is the, what is the uh, portion of price action I want to be focusing on? Down here. And there you go. Now let's see. It's high to this low. Okay. So price goes up, comes down. Okay, now London has not started. So therefore, this is the engineered liquidity. Price goes up and comes into our UI. That's your buy. Stop loss below this low. Okay. But I'm not going to give you entry. I'm just talking about range valuation, right? So there's your range valuation. There's your discount for the buy. All right. Then this is inducement. That's okay. High, low. Goes up. Doesn't really come into it. What's the portion we're focusing on? Below these lows, right? Is this one over here as goes down comes into it comes into it and goes higher it's in discount you know that's your buy now what about your sales okay the sales the sales are very important as, as well right so let's look at the sales or let's look at some of the sales that are that's available to us uh let's see we can have a high and a higher high so we have a high higher high drop what is the portion of price that we're going to be focusing on that manipulated leg. So, what's the valuation here from here to here? Do that properly. It's from here, from up there, down here. Right? And there we go. There it is. They're focusing on this portion here. Equilibrium, premium, that's a cell. And you see, price just tapped the equilibrium again and dropped. Okay? That is. How we are going to be looking at stuff that is how we're going to be looking at range valuation let's look at more examples uh, okay I'm, I'm, I'm just going to show you examples from you know i'm, I'm just going to go sequentially sequentially behind you guys can catch up you guys can do your own testing all right so but the main thing that you have to understand is the manipulative leg and the range the re, the valuation of the range inside of that manipulative leg all right and there are additional obviously there are, there's a lot of things that go into this such as structure uh, what structure is responsible for what and all of that stuff. So obviously, I'm not going to go through that in public, all right? So that I, I, I really can't be unfair to my uh, private members. Okay. So we have a high here, we have a low here. We have a high here, we have a low here. 
So what's the price action that we're going to be focusing on? This high to this low. Price takes it out, making a new high, comes down, and there you go. Okay, there you go. That's a buy. See another sell. A sell, sell, sell. A sell here. Okay, so high, high, high drop. Focusing here. Range valuation is that in premium? Yes, it is. Technically in premium. Yes, it is. Okay. Premium, fell off. Zoom out. High, high, high drop. Okay. Now, here's where it gets tricky. This low, that's the manipulative leg. All right. So from here, zoom all the way right there. And look at this. Can you see that none of these moves, see, it goes up, did not go into premium, it continued. Did not go into premium, continued. Went into premium, then it took out these moves. Okay, then you got a nice sustained sell out, take out an important low, which is what is the low? The Asian low. And then obviously we shifted to being bullish again. Okay. Now what about this? High. Low. Okay. High. Low. Here is the stop one. This is the manipulative leg. As goes higher. I want to see. Okay. Is this giving us that thing that we want? No. This see, it's over here. It's coming down. It didn't give us what we want. Now, when it did, if it doesn't give us what we want, then obviously there are some inducement involved, inducement and the other structural stuff that I can't talk about. All right. So, I'm sorry, but I cannot go through this. So you gotta make do with what you got. So if you know inducement from from any other channel, good job. So you you you, you can apply this. Or alternatively, without all that stuff, you all what you can do is you can look for confirmation here, like this: high, low, high, high. Come back over here. Remember the first one or two examples we did. You can buy from here and we can enjoy the ride up. You don't have to get it from here. Okay. Um, if you have a confirmation, that's even better. Right? It's even better if you have a confirmation. All right, let's go left. Zoom out. Yep. Let's look. Okay, now this is good a random bit. Random bit. Okay. Let's just do this. All right. Over here. What's up? We have a low, low, low price goes higher. Low, low, low price goes higher. What's the range that we're valuing? Here to here. Price comes down, fails, 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 comes down into equilibrium, and there's a buy. There is a buy. Okay. It spans into London. There's a buy from Asia into London. No issues there. Now, what do we have here? High, 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 high. This is the low in between, right? So what's the manipulated leg from here to here? Here's the area we're focusing on. There's the cell. That's goes down one more time and goes down. Okay, that's your cell. So you can apply this literally anywhere. And that's how you go about range valuation. Okay, that's how you go about range valuation. Now, if you go to price action from today, okay, if you look at price action from uh, today, you can see that I, that we had something similar in price action today, okay. We have a low, low, low price broke up. What's up? What's our manipulative leg? Yeah, to here. See, we go up, we come down, go up there. But you see, we needed to break this one, right? Although we broke this one, there was a buy after it broke this one. Uh, whenever, whenever we see price take another high out like this, okay. We need to see, okay, with regard to this high, what was that range or what was that, uh, what was the stop hunted portion inside of this range? It's still this one over here, right? So this is, a st this is still the point that we're referencing. So this is a variant, okay, this is a variant. So we have this, comes down one more time because see, this is efficient price action, comes down to inefficient price action. This is something from ICT, it's mentorship, which I can't disclose. So we have this, there you go, I go back. Now, what about your confirmation? Your confirmation is this. High, high, high. Low, low, low. 
right over here. Can you see this? It's too, uh, we can have some massive as we go here, right? Yeah. So what we'll do is now we'll go to the lower time frame, five minutes. And what we're gonna do is we are gonna use the body. We're gonna use the body of this because when the wick is too big, we're gonna be using the body. And that's your entry. The body means you also. That's your entry will be exactly at equilibrium. Okay, exactly at equilibrium. Now, instead of using this, there are other ways. Again, I'm saying, I'm disclosing there are other ways. Don't worry, we will get to it in future lessons. Uh, but for today, we are just gonna be focusing on range valuation. Okay, we are going to focus on range valuation, price goes higher, and now we're starting to take it down. <laughs> now we're starting to take it down, all right? So this is all of our range valuation, guys. So remember, I'm done with the video. What you gotta understand is we have that manipulated leg. That's the one that you're gonna be valuing. Leg, that's the one that you're gonna be valuing from here to here. Okay, equilibrium is sensitive, sensitive. All right, and these manipulative legs, these are where these legs are where price essentially uh, initiates new order flow. Okay, may it be temporary, may it be sustained, it still is a point of order flow initiation. All right, and a lot of things that go to it, but I made it as simple as possible because the other stuff I cannot disclose in public. Uh, don't give me flack for that, don't give me hate for that because I'm just doing this YouTube thing for fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so I'm just trying to help you guys out. For, for the guys that DM me and keep on texting me about, you know, help me, help me, help me, help me out. You don't have the funds, you don't have this, you don't have that. Don't worry, I got you. Don't worry, man, I got you. Okay, so with that, I guess this is the end of the video. Um, the next one is going to be about, let me have a look. The next one is going to be about liquidity and how it is supposed to be viewed. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. That's going to be nice. And after that, they're going to be speaking about trading Asia, London, and New York from an algorithmic standpoint. Again, as always, remember, guys, the market is algorithmic, and so your trading is objective. I'll see you guys in the next one, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye.